This week on The Edge, we brew a cup with a local tea and coffee guru. Listen to the soothing melodic sounds of Dutch and Hawk and take to the ice at Boulder's Outdoor Ice Rink. Hi, I'm Carrie White, and you're watching Boulder's hottest new web show, Boulder Edge TV. If there's one thing true about Boulder, it's that you're never far away from a great cup of coffee. But what about tea? Well, we found a delightful cafe that offers both. Meet Chris Rosen, an expert in tea, coffee, and owner of Atlas Purveyors. So I remember when I first started the shop, my, you know, my father, he said, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be stressful. No matter how stressed it gets, you have to remember that when someone walks through your door, more likely than not, it is the best part of their day. And you have to treat it that way. And I never forgot that. And one of the things for designing this shop uh, was an understanding that the weakest point in any cafe's menu uh, is their tea list. You know, we have anywhere from you know, 60 to 100, depending upon season. The majority of my teas are not certified organic um, by, by choice. Nine times out of 10, there's a, you know, a large corporation that's subsidizing that organic certification because it is very expensive, and it just makes it very difficult for them to exist. We're here because we love cafes, so why not make a really great place for people to go? You know, people know each other, and people care about each other. Just to try to create a wonderful place to be. Having lived in the area for most of his life, local musician, singer, and songwriter Detchen Hawk is no stranger to the Boulder lifestyle. His music's been described as Jeff Buckley and Stevie Wonder in a blender. Let's take a look. My name's Detchen Hawk. I'm a full-time musician. I've been to a lot of places and they're incredibly beautiful and it just stuns me every time I come back here that like there's this crispness in the air. Focus on the we have an amazing place here, let's be proud of it and let's create our own scene. How did that, how did it happen anywhere else, you know? Why is Seattle cool? It's just a place like Colorado, but like what makes it cool? The people that chose to turn it into a scene. So that's where the majority of my time is, practicing, performing, booking for venues or teaching. I just, it's clearly why I'm here. And it's like what my path is and my purpose is to be performing and playing music. Winter is upon us. And you know what that means. Time to strap on those skates and hit the ice as we take a look at the Boulder Ice Rink. We've been at Boulder's Ice Rink since 2003. It's, it's a great, fun place to hang out. This is a good thing for the Boulder community because this is a place that people can come down and basically make memories. The other day I had a lady come down to the rink and tell me that her daughter's grown up on the ice rink. Every Tuesday we have a community food share drive so people can come on Tuesdays and bring a can of food and get a discounted entry. Uh, we have broom ball tournaments beginning in January that people can sign up for and the proceeds from those will go to Community Food Share as well. Including Christmas and New Year's, we are open every day of the week. We intend to be open this year through mid-February. Thanks again for tuning in. And don't forget to join the conversation on Twitter and Facebook and let us know what you think. And keep coming back throughout the next couple of weeks as we release additional content to our video page. See you January 5th for our next episode. I'm Carrie White, and this is Boulder Edge TV.